there, I'm Jill Wellington, and I'm going to show you today how to do a light painting. This is a very simple and highly creative lighting technique for creating what looks like fine art paintings. I set up and shoot this in my basement on my ping pong table of all places. I bought a three-fold blackboard from the craft store and just stood that up. And I have two pieces of craft or scrapbook paper to match my scene. And this is going to be taped up on your blackboard right along the bottom. And it's going to look like wallpaper in the background of your scene. So you want to get a paper that matches what you're using in your scene. I used a piece of glass, a round glass, that came from a side table inside my house. This gives it a little bit of reflection. If you don't have one of these on a table, you can also use the glass from a picture frame. I just set out um, a tablecloth and put the glass on top of that. Pick the tablecloth to match your scene. Then I set out various objects that I wanted to photograph, and I'm going to give this painting to my daughter. So I snuck a picture in her fruit bowl out of her kitchen. So this is a really highly personalized gift for her. Um, set your camera on a tripod and get a focus, but you'll want to have your aperture at F5 and eight second shutter speed and your ISO at 100. And you'll want to set your camera's timer with a 10 second delay. Now I use a small flashlight to do the light painting. You have to turn off all the lights in your basement and after you click the button on your camera you have the 10 seconds to run in and get into position. And when you hear your camera click you're going to want to start quickly painting with that little flashlight starting with the wallpaper in the background because you want that wallpaper to show up so you have to light it a little bit. Then you'll quickly move the flashlight around your scene illuminating the different aspects. I'm going to make sure you do the flowers and don't worry if you keep moving you and the flashlight will not show up in that photo even though you might go in front of your lens. Now Try this several times because you'll want to try the lighting in different ways. Maybe you'll want one side of it to be more shaded. Just play with it and see what you get and see what you like. But you'll want to do some post-production editing to perfect the look of your picture. I added a texture and I darkened and lightened selected areas when in Photoshop. But wow! Doesn't this look like a fine artist painted this? It's actually just a lot of cheap stuff that I got at the craft store. And the fruit was just right out of my kitchen. So get creative and create your own lovely fine art.